So you want to start making talking head videos just like this for either YouTube or social media. But you may just be a beginner when it comes to cameras and you don't really know what it is you need. Well, in this video, we're going to go over three pieces of camera equipment that you need minimum to make some quality talking head videos and it starts right now. Hey, what's up everybody? Kevin Mendoza here. If you've been following me for a while, thank you so much for tuning in yet again to watch one of these videos. If you're new to this channel, I welcome you to continue watching. I make videos on low budget camera gear for beginners, as well as tutorials on filming and editing techniques. So if you're at all interested in that kind of stuff, consider subscribing. But now let's get to this video. Today, we're going to go over three pieces of camera equipment that you can use to improve the quality of your talking head videos. Now, if you're eager to get started and don't wanna to wait to order camera gear, by all means, just use your camera phone. Today's phone cameras are getting better than some DSLRs and they're super convenient because they fit in your pocket and they're with you all the time. Besides, I think it is way more important that you get comfortable speaking in front of the camera than it is to worry about what camera gear to get. But while you're doing that and you plan on eventually upgrading your equipment to a DSLR to record your videos, I recommend the Canon SL2. You could get the Canon SL2 along with the kit lens for somewhere around 500 bucks and for DSLRs, that is pretty damn good. For the price, the Canon SL2 shoots video phenomenally. So one thing you should keep in mind when making videos is that everyone that's going to potentially view your video is going to view it on their phone. And for a screen that small, there's really no need for any resolution over 1080p. If you don't know, 1080p is just full HD, which this shoots in at 24 frames per second up to 60 frames per second. 24 frames per second is the cinema standard. It's what makes movies and TV shows look like movies and TV shows, as opposed to sporting events or news broadcasts. And all this means is that it's going to be the most pleasing frame rate and resolution for the eyes to perceive. Now you may be asking, what is 60 frames per second going to do for you? 60 frames per second is going to allow you to get nice, buttery, smooth, slow motion shots when you slow it down by 40% or to a 24 frame per second timeline. If you didn't understand that at all, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to explain it in another video. Other cool features about the Canon SL2, which makes it a very good buy for the price, is that it has Canon's dual pixel autofocus, which is very fast and accurate, and it has very good color straight out of camera. So that's about it for what is going to record your video. The Canon SL2 coupled with whatever kit lens comes with it is going to be plenty. Next, let's talk about lighting. I think a lot of people underestimate how important lighting is when recording video. It's all the camera does, it records light. Right now, I have a giant softbox lighting this scene. Here's what it looks like without lighting. Oh my God, how terrible is this? You can't even see me. Right now, lighting the room is whatever house lights I have on, but it is clearly not enough. Ugh, that is better. For lighting, you could just go on Amazon, type in Limo Studio, and a whole list of cheap lighting equipment will pop up. Because what good is your video if no one could see you? The third thing, the last thing we're going to talk about is audio. Audio is super important because it is half of the viewing experience. Your viewers will want to see what's in front of the lens and they wanna hear what you have to say. The internal microphone of any camera is not going to be ideal. For example, I'm going to unplug this shotgun mic from the camera, and you tell me how that sounds. It should sound terrible. There's a lot of echo, I sound very distant from the camera, and it's not a very effective way to capture high quality audio. Okay, hopefully I plugged that in right, and now the audio should sound a lot more clear. This shotgun mic is a Techstar SGC598, and I got it from Amazon for, I think, legit, like, $26. Most YouTubers will say that you need to get a Rode mic, but those are pretty expensive, and this gets you comparable quality at a much lower price. In fact, it's so affordable that I have another one because these are so useful when I shoot interviews. So the three pieces of camera gear that I just went over, I use myself, and I think you could get all of them for under 700 bucks total. Like you could get the Canon SL2 with a kit lens for around 500 bucks, I'm sure. This limo studio setup for professional lighting, I think you could get for like 23 bucks. And the shotgun mic, I got it for less than $30. So there you have it. That is the minimum you need to start making quality talking head videos for either YouTube or your social media. Links to everything that I talked about in this video are in the description below. Now I have to disclose that these are affiliate links, so I will earn a commission if you use those 
links to buy these items. But it is no extra cost to you and you would be helping me out a lot, produce more videos like this, so why not? If you found this video helpful at all, hit that like button to show me some love. If you like videos like this and want to see my face more, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that way you know when a new video comes out. I try to make one of these a week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.